Hello friends, this is Transportation Engineering 1 and we are in our third module that is Traffic Engineering and our topic in this video is Grid Separated Intersection or Grid Separated Interchange. We will be studying about the functions of grid separated interchange and interchanging ramp. This type of intersection causes delays and hazard to the crossing traffic and to general is much superior to intersection as at grade from the point of view of traffic safety operation and capacity. It means that this type of intersection is very safe in traffic that is its operation much less accidents will occur in this type of intersection as compared to at grade intersection the grid separated may be either by an overpass or an underpass that means the project road will go over the crossing road or under the crossing road transfer of route at the grid separation or the turning facility are provided by interchanging facilities consisting of interchanging ramp that means if we have to go from the lower level road that is from below the road to the up of the road the ramps are connected from the lower road to the upper road likewise i will show you one figure over here uh, this is one uh, great separated intersection you can see this is one uh, road which is under the this road this is the road which will join or intersect to this straight road this type of uh, connection is called the interchanging ramp means this is one ramp or starting from here it will intersect over here and this is another ramp which will go straight this is the connecting links between the two road is called the ramp so there is advantage and disadvantage of this grid separated intersection the disadvantage is if a driver is not familiar with the interchange means if the driver is from small cities and if uh, he or she comes to these uh, uh, big cities which has interchange then it will be a much complicated to drive that means he will be confused uh, which uh, route to travel so this is one confusing type of uh, roadway intersection and it will cover much distance as compared to the at grade intersection because it has to negotiate the in, uh, it will negotiate the interchanging ramp and the advantage is the traffic will move smoothly which will cause less accident this is the advantage of the grid separated intersection so we will be studying the classification of interchange the interchange ramp may be classified as direct, semi-direct and indirect ramps. This is most important uh, topic in the interchanging ramp. The direct interchange ramp involves diverging to right side and merging from the right side. Both these maneuvers involves conflict with the through traffic and therefore this type of interchange ramp is not free from the conflicts. Semi-direct interchanging ramp also diverts to the left, allows diverging to the left but merging it from the right side. Thus, only the merging maneuvers from the right causes the conflict with the true traffic. In the indirect interchanging ramp, a simple diversion to the left and merging from the left side are involved. That both these maneuvers are simpler, least hazardous, and free from major conflicts but the distance to be traversed in indirect interchange are more so this is uh, uh, the three type that is direct semi-direct and indirect direct means i will be showing you some figure about this this is a typical intersection and this is the center line of the road so direct means the vehicle will travel from here 
to this lane it means there will be one conflict over here because the through traffic is coming from this this opposite direction so there will be conflict over here and when it will arrive on the other arm then there will be one conflict over here because this the vehicle will tra travel in the direction so the second in conflict will be over here and then it will merge on the left side so there are two conflicts from this type at one and from this side it is two so this type of uh, direct ramp is not preferred as there are many conflicts points involved in this we will be going on the semi direct ramp this is the center line of the road and the vehicle will go from left side it means it will allow its uh, deviation from the left side but the arrival will be on this side it means it has avoided this this conflict from this traffic but it has not avoided from this uh, traffic means this traffic will be moving on this direction so there is one conflict over here so in semi direct as compared to direct there is one one conflict less but in indirect ramp you can clearly see this is the center line of the road you can clearly see the vehicle is moving on this direction then it can come over here these both the roads are grid separated means they are not at junction at same level so this road is at lower level and this road it has is at higher level so it will exit from the left and entry from the left on this road so there are no conflict points for the through traffic so this type of uh, indirect intersection is preferred the types of grid separate intersection you can clearly see this it is diamond intersection it is much complicated and full clover leaf and partial clo clover leaf generally in india uh, when it comes to grid separate intersection the full clover leaf is much preferred as compared to diamond intersection when this you can see if this is a traffic moving in the straight direction then the vehicle move from this uh, loop and will in enter into this means it will exit from the left and on this road it will entry on the left so the conflict points is totally avoided uh, i will also give an example of this if i want to go from if i am arriving at from this direction then i want to go straight then i can go straight over here and if i want to go leftwards then i can clearly take this loop or ramp and i can go left towards here so these are the diamond intersection and full clover leaf intersection you can clearly see uh, i will take one example that if i want to go from here then you, i can clearly take this uh, loop and move towards the right side if i want to uh, move towards the left side or go towards the left side then by this ramp i can go towards the left side and if i want to move straight then i can go straight like this so this is much simpler but complicated type of intersection so with this i will be ending this video for grid separate intersection thank you for friends watching this video